Eddie Lampert is the CEO of Sears, but he runs ESL Holding, which is his hedge fund. So he's trying to sell part of Sears, a company he controls, to himself? He owns 48% of Sears, and he is their biggest debt holder. So, yes, he and Sears are one, even if they are separated into two companies. Is that pass the smell test? Selling part <laughs> of your own company back to yourself effectively? It'd take a or lot is of it a good thing? Because if there's no buyers, at least he creates a market. It'd take a lot of lawyers. However, when you look at it, they've been marketing these properties for two years, they claim, and nobody's really stepped up to the plate, which tells you what the real perceived value is. He has stepped up now and said, I'll buy a billion two in stores. I'll give you 500 million for Sears Direct and Home Improvement, and probably another 500 million for Kenmore, though that wasn't in the numbers. We used to think Kenmore was worth a billion, by the way. Now we think it's worth 500 million. So let's say you got 1.7 to 2.2 billion dollars flowing into Sears and these assets moving over to ESL's ownership. Sears burns about a billion seven a year in cash. So they get to operate for a long time, but the cash flow burn actually goes up. It doesn't go down. Wait, this accelerates well, the cash flow burn? They're going to have to burn? pay rent on those $1.2 billion worth of stores. So, yes, it'll accelerate the cash burn. So when we used to start talking, when we used to talk about Sears, they were trading for $198 a share. They had 3,400 stores. Now they have 1,000 stores, and they're trading for $3.25 a share. Cutting your way to success has not worked. And the cash burn has been a billion five to two billion dollars every year. It'll be that again this year, billion six, billion seven. And if they do this, they'll get by for another yeah. period of time. But as I say all the time, they sell assets, they take the money, they put it in the furnace and send it up the floor. Well, hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.